So pretty psyched about this purchase on eBay. It's obviously from SD Systems. It came from a seller, seller out of Brazil. The box is really rather natty. I think it's been in a wet environment. But it looks like, you know, the contents of the bag look fun. I don't think there's been any water in the bag. Those all look fine. Sockets and sockets. The uh, brace buttons for the switches. There's a bag of hardware. Some ICs. There's a Zilog CTC. A Z80 PIO. guessing that's a Z80 CPU and it is and I'm guessing this EA chip is a ROM although I don't know that and then a small amount of what is presumably glue logic etc main board I would have loved to have got something like this in the late 70s early 80s it would have been so much fun so obviously it's a single board computer, Z80 processor, Z80 PIO, Z80 CTC, the Zbug ROM, PROM programmer, a uh, little bit of glue logic, obviously memory. Here I don't know what kind of memory chips. Looking at the logic chips, a lot of the leads are dark. This is obviously set in storage for a long time, so we may have to clean leads. Which I'll actually shoot a video on. Doing, yeah, we're going to have to clean leads. Those look pretty bad. These are all in, in plastic chip carriers, so I can't see the leads. Nice looking board. It's very heavy probably double the normal thickness. It's got two S100 expansion connectors on it, at least they're advertised as S100. Uh, you read the fine print, they're not necessarily 100% S100. It's got cassette, you know, earphone out, or auxiliary out and earphone in, by the way around, earphone out and auxiliary in for uh, a cassette recorder. Just, you know, save and load programs from. This just would have been an awesome, awesome, you know, I think machine to have had back in the day. In this case, the owner's manual. Yeah, it smells musty. This box is not in great shape. The owner's manual looks almost pristine. Supplemental page thrown in to replace that. Warranty. So revision A, January 79. So the manual goes back to 79. It's got your normal construction. Check off the pieces as you go. Yeah, it smells very musty. Mostec Z80 pocket reference. I've got a couple of these floating around. Warranty card, which probably won't be uh, uh, honored at this point. Orientation, how to solder. Listing for the Z-Bug monitor. Parts list. So let's see if we can spot what kind of RAM it's using. Did I just miss the ICs completely? Oh, they're right here. Twenty-one LO2s. So five hundred nanosecond RAM. So. Yep, some very small RAMs, not a lot of them. 
but that'd be sufficient for something like this. Uh, should be fun to put together. I am going to assemble it. I know some people will scream and say, no, 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 keep the kit, you know, pristine. You can actually program EPROMs on board, which is interesting. Uh, if I remember what I read, kind of looking at the manual previously, it, it, it essentially sits in the address space and you're writing to it, and that kind of fires off the whole 50 millisecond programming bolt, which is kind of cool. don't know that I would have a... Well, that could actually be useful, especially back in the day. We have programming a 2716. That looks really nice. I'm really pleased. Uh, was definitely spendy, but stuff like this is rare. Seven segment displays, the audio jacks, panel and cap disc caps, resistors, these key caps look pretty nice, well the pins on the switches are gold colored, they don't look corroded so I think those are okay so really I think this is a kit is probably okay, so let me get it back into the box, even if the box is very grubby. Uh, 